right hand side and he's gonna be sending it near my base however I don't think it's the armored M8 he has and I'm fairly certain that M8 can't drop mines so a base rush would be a fairly bad idea and he's wisely going to back out knowing I have a pack and Grenz on the left hand side and right now this is how a lot of games between two two players of decent skill I wouldn't call myself high skilled but at least skilled enough to hold my own in a match of this sort games like this tend to devolve into both sides being happy with the the territory they have and waiting for the other one to make a mistake reason being for this is if I try to push out on the right hand side he has mines everywhere I know that he has units everywhere he probably has his M8 on the right hand side as well since he's realized now he probably won't be able to break through my left hand side with my mines my pack and my grens so he's just waiting he's biding his time he knows he has the VP advantage and I am going to be forced to attack him at some point in time. Of course, I'm probably going to wait until I have Vet 2 on my infantry until I push out. You'll notice as well my, my fuel is almost 200. This is a great example for... Oh, Vet 2 now, I think. Yep, just finished. Anyways, my fuel floating at this point in the game is a great example for the the importance of not fuel for the Wehrmacht faction but of manpower manpower is really the limiter it's what will hold you back if you don't have manpower you can't build units you can't use your fuel because everything that requires fuel also requires manpower and usually requires more manpower than it does fuel you can see a crazy grenade on the right hand side killing I think four Volks grenadiers Folks Grenadiers, sorry, and maybe one or two Grenadiers. Still haven't taken a shot with my sniper. That's really something that is important in a in a high level match. If you're going to build a sniper for counter sniping, don't get impatient and reveal the sniper's location. Reason for this is the moment you reveal that you have a sniper, your your opponent will become far more defensive with his sniper he'll only use it when you've revealed your sniper first he'll only use it in areas that you don't expect and I just lost a unit to something I still actually don't know what mine it hit it hit a mine but I have I think it was a squad I sent to the right hand side Perhaps I actually don't know it just died and I lost a squad So hopefully if anyone can tell me what I actually lost that would be very nice since I have no idea and even watching it this second time I still have no idea Anyways tech wise not really getting anything Reinforcing out my base probably going to be building up a few more grenadiers this game given my manpower si situation I'm probably going to be sticking with massed grenadiers and then waiting for my waiting for my king tiger to hit the field finally counter sniped his sniper and did so on retreat which was lucky because I think snipers get a 50% received accuracy penalty against units or when they're retreating or something they hit half as much half as often when they're shooting at ret retreating units rather than rather than normal units I think I'm gonna actually hit a mine right here bad idea blobbing the way I did I really should have spread those units out and I think I'm going to lose no by retreat all right Sending my MG back to the left hand side. Just gonna try to hold some more ground. Bike's still alive. If you micro your bikes well, especially with the uh, recent nurse to AT gun accuracy against bikes and jeeps, it's a lot easier to keep that keep that bike, keep that jeep alive well into the mid game. Gonna finally maybe kill the M8. Maybe I can't remember. My my pack is actually blocked right there by the hedge, which is unfortunate for myself. I actually know I also know he probably has a 
a mine right in that entrance. So I'm going to be getting another minesweeper before I push out. I'm also going to get a mortar because mortars are great for static games like this. I really should have gotten one a little bit earlier. It's a little late for me. I don't really need all of these grenadiers right now since I can't really commit to an attack at this point in the match. And going to try to push out a little bit on the right. He counter sniped my sniper which took him a lot less longer than it took me. It took me a good deal of time to counter snipe his. He counter sniped mine in a few shots. I'm not actually sure how many kills my sniper got. It wasn't that many so I believe I'm going to rebuild my sniper. Not right away. I don't have the manpower of course but I will be rebuilding it because letting your opponent run around especially with a supported sniper not even just a a sniper but one supported which is what he has right now it's extremely dangerous because if you let your opponent run around with that sniper he's going to inflict a lot of manpower damage he's going to be very difficult to counter because even though you have some sort of detection like the bike I have like a jeep if you're an American player tries to throw a grenade managed to dodge that if he has any sort of detection or if you have any sort any sort of detection it is slightly easier however it still isn't perfect and it isn't a perfect situation when it comes to re or counter sniping countering a bike or any I mean sorry countering a sniper not a bike or a anything like that I actually what happened right there my my minesweeper was killed however it had still it still had the mine revealed and when you have a mine revealed you can attack it and you do enough damage mines actually don't have that 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 much health you do enough damage it kills the kills the mine I shot it with the Shrek which blew it up however that also <laughs> killed two men in my grenadier squad so I was forced to retreat them which was unfortunate and I am now trying to push out a little bit on the right hand side I'm down to around 200 200 or so um, points I actually saw that smoke come down right there I don't think I'm gonna retreat anything however bad reaction on my part actually lose a pack as well as an entire gren squad to that off map artillery not happy about that but as I mentioned before I am moving out on the right hand side because I realize if I let my my opponent sit over there with the units he has at this point in the game I'm not gonna have enough come mid and late game to push him back on the right hand side and to eke out a VP win in this situation because at this point that's what he's trying to do he's he realizes this game has gone into mid game he is at a disadvantage if he tries to push out and fight my army head to head so what he is doing right now is he is sitting back which is smart of him in this situation he's sitting back he's waiting for me to commit and he's going to trust his ability to lay mines in his consistency in laying mines and in the fact that if he can drain my manpower enough that enough so that I will not have enough manpower to reinforce I won't be able to build new units which is a huge point if you are forcing your opponent to constantly be reinforcing what units he has and he isn't building more units of his own uh... don't counter snipe trying to counter snipe on the left hand side Every anyways if you force your opponent to reinforce rather than rather than continually build up you're putting him at a distinct disadvantage because if you can accomplish that without losing too much for yourself you'll have more units on the field over time you'll be able to to at least outnumber your opponent 
And what is going on? Something's lagging out. Uh, okay, we're good. All right. He's actually trying to push out on the left-hand side right now. He feels he has a a fairly f fairly mm, high number of of units on the left-hand side. He's actually going to be forced to retreat. However, I don't have vet three yet. I do have a a free grand squad out of my medic bunker, so it's already paid for itself. And I think I managed, yep, I managed to kill the, the flamer that was trying to, trying to flame out my, my medic bunker on the left hand side. I'm going to be repairing that and I'm going to continue to try to push out on the right hand side. He still has a fairly solid hold on the right hand side and I can't, I don't really know what he has over there. I he is actually sniping my my bunker with his AT gun, which was a great play by him, and forced me to retreat my my pioneers that were repairing. One mistake I made this game was not repair or not rebuilding that medic bunker, considering how heavy into tier two. I was going he just revealed his counter sniper which was not nice for me must have had a bad rally point set it out forgot about it and it ended up taking a shot meaning I'll be playing really really conservatively with my sniper now you see I have it on hold fire and I'm now pushing out finally getting a slight foothold on the right hand side he is however moving I think it's an M8 in I'm not really paying attention on the right hand side at this point microing more on the left and more artillery coming down managed to dodge it completely don't even think he killed one member with that with that artillery barrage and a mortar round flies down hits a mine and also manages to kill two American medics who were carrying bodies back to the medic center which was a little bit of comedy right there I still have my pack on the left hand side. I'm gonna move them over to the right hand side right now because I am refocusing on the right hand side. Nystrom, however, capping the leftmost VP, trying to expedite the VP tickers countdown because he knows I'm gonna have a King Tiger soon and he knows that if he can secure a large enough VP advantage before that King Tiger comes out he will be at a great advantage and it will be fairly difficult for myself even with the advantage of the King Tiger to come back because all he's got to do is harass capture VPs as much as possible and is his M8 finally gonna die yes finally kill that pesky M8 however he does have a 30 cal a heavy machine gun on the right hand side I moved my MG over to the left hand side and I'm going to use it to try to secure the leftmost VP make sure he doesn't try to or he doesn't recapture it at all and I also am dropping a firestorm on the right I'm hoping he's not paying attention and that he's microing somewhere else and my hopes were proven true as I think I yep he lost that entire MG he also lost a few men on his rifle squads and that is going to allow me to push out onto the right and yeah he saw no smoke that's a a serious issue that has been around since vanilla if you if you're microing somewhere and your opponent drops artillery somewhere else and it isn't on the screen that you're currently looking at so if for example I'm microing on the left hand side my opponent drops artillery on the right VP I'm capturing right now that I just captured if he manages to drop that when I'm not looking at it and I hear the audio cue telling me there's artillery dropping and I pan over there won't be our there won't be smoke anywhere because of this bug that I'm talking about and I won't know exactly where he dropped the artillery meaning I'm gonna either have to retreat all my squads on that side or risk losing a losing 
some manpower or losing all my squads over there if they get 